Good evening, man. Good evening. How are you doing, man? I'm good. My name is Dora Paino. I'm from Lagos, Nigeria. Kindly, for the records, kindly tell us your name, who you are, what you do, where we are, and um, all other relevant um, information. My name is Alice Katiti. Okay. I am a senior regional manager for Rwanda. Mm -hmm. I represent the Eastern Region. Okay. Uh, Eastern Region uh, actually comprises mm -hmm. of East Africa mm -hmm. minus Rwanda okay. plus Middle East okay. and then Southern Africa okay. and anything on the east or uh, towards the Indian Ocean. Ocean. So anything new coming in that region, mm -hmm. I will be responsible for it. Uh, right now, we are in Rwanda, mm -hmm. my lovely country of a thousand hills mm -hmm. and a million smiles. And actually, there's a new addition okay. that um, was not mentioned, okay. a billion opportunities. A billion opportunities. Yes. <laughs> That's quite an catchy phrase. Um, what does your role entail? Um, my role entails looking after the markets. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, in addition to this, there's also the offline sales, which um, comprise of uh, uh, USA, UK, Europe, mm -hmm. and um, some other peripheral markets where okay. we don't fly directly. Okay. So my my role actually entails taking care of the country managers who represent us in these countries, okay. and. Um, uh, I forgot to mention in East Africa includes South Sudan, okay. which is the new country okay. and one of the new routes we started just that's, before Douala. That's Juba, right? Juba, okay. yes. And um, so I take care of the country managers. I'm mm. in charge of generating revenue. Mm. Uh, my region carries 51% of the revenue budgeted for the whole oh. financial year. Okay. And so I'm uh, in charge of driving uh, everyone in this in my market to make mm. sure that we generate our portion of the budget. Okay. So we're in charge of doing sales and mm. marketing in these in this, um, uh, countries, mm. as well as uh, all the initiatives and ac activities mm. that we need to do to drive mm. the revenue generation. Mm. Um, as, um, as traffic been like to how's traffic that's traffic you know what i mean being like to kigali mm -hmm. and um, i don't know if this might also be part of your responsibility or if you have an idea how has the nigerian traffic been like from um, maybe people under you or people in other departments mm -hmm. to kigali how's traffic been like generally and in particular from nigeria Okay, generally our traffic has been growing at, okay. um, I would say, almost exponential growth okay. uh, from about three years ago, mm. in 20, 2010, mm. uh, slightly more than three years ago. Mm. Uh, we've been growing exponentially mm. and uh, basically because um, the, the airline adopted a network strategy which is a network strategy whereby we are connecting okay. um, regions, countries, markets, uh, depending on the travel flows, okay. the traffic flows of passengers. Okay. Um, and so with time, we've actually increased uh, from a meager 95,000 passengers there mm -hmm. in 2010 mm -hmm. to the current 470 in the last financial year. Okay. Uh, we're targeting this year to carry more than uh, nearly 600,000 okay. and probably we'll reach a million passengers in 20, 2017, 2018. Mm. So the growth you're talking about has mm. been uh, facilitated first of all by uh, some of the points that um, were, were pointed out mm. in the presentations, mm. uh, the support from government. Mm. The, um, the support to purchase new aircraft. Mm. So we have young fleet. So our cost and maintenance is much lower. Mm -hmm. We've ventured into contracting uh, high, um, I'd say, highly qualified uh, maintenance uh, companies, organizations. And then, um, of course, 
uh, all that growth comes with challenges. Mm -hmm. There's a cost of fuel, it's still quite high, mm -hmm. but government is helping us on negotiating uh, favorable rates, mm -hmm. in, especially in our hub. Mm -hmm. um, um, there's so many the facilitation to the mm. growth, mm. of course. Mm. Um, the dedication of the staff, sure. the dedication of, you know, it's a whole teamwork mm. thing across east, west, south. Mm. Um, and then um, I believe the belief that we all have mm. and the comfort that we get from our government support. Mm. And the fact that we're growing and we are we we are realizing and we are also uh, being awarded the accolades of best short haul okay. airline okay. in Africa and uh, best service mm. and a lot of other things like on time performance. Okay. Um, many airlines really have challenges in keeping time okay. for flights. Okay. We made it a priority. Uh, we've made safety a priority. Very soon we'll be um, audited for IOSA certification and we are on the right track. We've probably achieved 90% of everything we need to do, probably heading to 95%. And I believe very soon we'll reach the level where we'll be audited and, and certified. Um, two questions. Coming back to, I noticed the amount of flights I've taken on Ruan Day. Mm -hmm. I noticed you people are very prompt with them, your flights. Mm -hmm. How did that come about? That yeah, they're very prompt. Prompt. You are, you, you are taking off 11.30, mm -hmm. it is 11.30. Yeah, that, that's, that's the, the, the whole belief and the whole culture that we mm -hmm. have developed okay. to keep time. Okay. So basically, it's become part of our culture. Okay that in everything we do, we must do it on time. Mm -hmm. And of course, flights must, check-in must happen on time, mm -hmm. clothes must happen on time, mm -hmm. and the flights must take off okay. on time. One other thing I observed, mm -hmm. the one that has a lot of young, young folks, young people mm -hmm. as, as um, AOS, um, aerostasis and mm -hmm. steel How come? Normally in other countries, it's always mm -hmm. Or the old people, how come most of your people are 20s? Uh, basically, late 20s? Uh, if I can uh, say, uh, the aviation industry is a young industry in mm. Rwanda, and uh, of course, it's, it's growing because of that government support mm. and the realization that aviation mm. or having a, a national airline mm. will be one of the key pillars in mm. the development of the economy. Mm. And therefore, uh, the government has also gone out to support people to actually go to training schools, like uh, piloting, engineering, and others, so that they can actually come in the airline and start. Okay, They are young because we do not have a track history of aviation industry. So yes, that is uh, partly the reason. Okay. Um, one final question. Um, because I do a bit of reading, I know mm. basically everything about Rwanda, including mm. the airline. Mm. What would your What would your parting shot be to Nigerians who haven't heard of, who haven't even heard about Air Rwanda, and um, what would you say would be their um, their What would you say would be their their most their best experience if they fly on your on your airline? I think the best experience is really the hospitality, mm. the warmth, and um, the, the professionalism that we are creating in our young people. Mm -hmm. uh, the people who serve, the people who, you know, provide the services. Mm. And, and us, the people in the background, who make sure that these things happen. Mm. Um, and of course, the experience of flying through Kigali, mm. Uh, I think one of the cleanest cities in the in on the African continent. The experiences of the growth of everything that that's you know that that makes the economy grow, mm. uh, growing at that exponential growth. Mm. If you look around you, there's always something new coming up. There's mm. a building coming up. Mm. There's a hotel coming up. Mm. There's a big international conference center coming mm. up. 
so it, it's it's that vibrancy that mm. actually you know people should come and experience and also learn mm. about reconstruction mm. about uh, reconciliation mm. about peace about mm. living together mm. and being a community that can have objectives to 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 grow mm. a country and a people mm -hmm. and everybody lives happily together mm. yeah. thank you very much for your time thank you very much for your time thank, thank you, you.